exercise, you need to be able to get yourself a little bit closer to a wall. You're looking to have a 90 degree angle here at the hips. 90 degree angle are actually a little bit more obtuse, which means you want the feet up a little bit higher than a 90 degree angle here at the knees. What you're gonna do is you're going to push your legs into the wall, but you're only gonna do it, if I really could push really hard, that would be 100%. I'm going for that 30 to 40% of what I possibly could push into the wall. But when you do it, I wanna make sure that when you push, that your entire foot is going into the wall, including that inner portion right here. When you do this, it's gonna engage the inner thighs a little bit more, and that's what we're going for on this exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our little bit of a uh, pelvic tilt going on. So we're gonna push our back flat, rib cage tuck. We're gonna clench our butt cheeks together and push into the wall, making sure that our big toe is into the wall, that it's not sticking up. Our heel and our entire middle portion of our foot, we don't want the outside edge to come up on the foot, but we wanna make sure we're pushing through there. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little abdominal exercise with this. So I'm gonna take both hands and go straight up in the air, making sure that my thumbs are always pointed over my head. Then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm just gonna reach my arms straight up in the air and then back down. And if you have any type of neck issue, make sure you have a pillow, even a pillow doubled up underneath your neck so you don't have to elevate your neck at all. It's already in that position and you're gonna find that you can go up a little bit further and down. But you wanna to try to bring your arms straight to the ceiling. As you reach straight to the ceiling, it's almost like you're doing a little bit of an abdominal crunch and then come back down. So we're gonna do one of these together. So we're gonna make sure that our entire foot's against the wall. We're gonna push through the middle portion of our foot and make sure the inside of the big toe is pushing into the wall, the inside of the heel. We're gonna clench our butt cheeks. We're gonna tuck our, push our back flat, tuck our rib cage under, arms go straight up in the air. Remember, I'm only pushing at 30 to 40% into the wall. And then I'm gonna crunch up and down. Now, as I'm crunching, I'm not letting go of this contraction in my legs, pushing anything, and I'm also not letting go of this abdominal, contra abd abdominal contraction. So the only thing moving is my arms, but the whole time I'm going through my reps, this whole portion of my body is contracted, and as I come up and down, I'm just working my abs just that much more.